A new 4K release of Michael Powell's Peeping Tom has been brought to us by Studio Canal. I'm going to talk a little bit about the film, then about the transfer and the extras. So, Peeping Tom is one of the earliest serial killer movies. In a nutshell, a seemingly mild mannered cameraman goes around killing girls. It's a film that's been misunderstood, partly because the title is a bit of a misnomer. You could argue that the central character is less of a peeping Tom and more of an exhibitionist. He's attracted to the girl next door, played by Anna Massey, but he can't wait to rub her nose into his sordid backstory. And when the police start investigating the murder, he can't stay away from them. He even looks a little bit like the archetypal flasher of the period in his old brown Mac, with the women screaming when he pulls it open to reveal the murder weapon. He's also very modern, in the way that he claims victimhood. He's always dwelling on how his father tormented him as, as a child in the name of science, as though this justifies or explains his current actions. The film isn't a riot of colour, like some of Powell's other movies. It combines the lurid and the seedy in a way that reflects the drab post-war period. The 4K transfer can be a off-puttingly grainy at times, so you might need to tweak your settings to get the grain to recede as much as possible. But it's a very clear, stable picture, with no dirt or damage or artefacts. The big splashes of colour that Pal's famous for are mainly reserved for the scenes in the central character's dark room. Here, the grain is much finer, and the close-ups of Anna Massey's face in particular look pin sharp. Some of the other close-ups too have a hyper-real look, especially the um, iconic image of the blinking eye, which is probably seen in lots of publicity material. As for the audio, it's clean, crisp and resonant. Turning to the extras, we get a new piece by Christopher Frayling, who's always worth listening to, and a nice gallery of behind-the-scenes photos. But the meatiest extra is still the archival making of documentary that was present on earlier releases. I must admit, I found this new 4K a little bit grainy at first, and the movie wasn't as colourful as I remembered. But once I adjusted my TV settings, I found that this transfer really started to grow on me, especially those darkroom scenes, which really do look magnificent. And I'm looking forward to going back to it in future viewings. Even by today's standards, this is, this is a brave movie and a powerful character study. And fans of this director will definitely want to check out this release.